So welcome to our garage tour of our self-built Mercedes Sprinter long wheelbase van home. So let's get into it. Before we start, I would just like to say thank you very much for anyone who's subscribed. If you haven't already, it makes a massive difference if you can just hit a little like or a subscribe down in the bottom there. It makes a huge difference. We can bring you everything van life from living across Europe to building to blueprints to everything you could want. If you've got any questions, please, please ask. I'm more than happy to answer them all. So yeah, I mean, let's get started. So first of all, down here, we've got um, the electrics. So we've got a 240 volt plug just here, along with a USB down here, so we can charge anything up that goes in the back here. It was more kind of a what if situation, didn't really have anything that was going to be specifically charged there, but I wanted to put some power back there uh, just in case, and I actually think that we might end up using it for boot warmers during the summer. Um, for the, during the winter, sorry, not the summer, for the ski boots. We certainly don't need boot warmers in the summer, it's about 40 degrees here. Um, yeah, so that's the electrics. Then, in this side here, we've got all the camping gear, so the uh, mesh grill for barbecuing, we've got the bags, backpacks and the tent. And then a bit further in just here is the laundry bag. So this laundry bag uh, works as a laundry chute from above and yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's a little bit tricky to get to, but I don't need to get to it probably once every... A couple of weeks I'd say so it's not too bad but it's amazing it means that all our laundry can go from the main area down to the garage and we don't have to worry about it don't have to think about it it's a really simple IKEA bag as well it costs about three quid and it's just attached on with hooks so it's absolutely fantastic uh, really really like that really really like that side of it um, then next we've got the slide out rails again these slide out rails are from B&Q uh, and the boxes are from Ikea, really, really simple, and they just slide out like this. And I've got a lid on it, so this one does laundry, and the one underneath, this one's for Franklin's stuff. Um, yeah, it's just really, really simple and really, really handy storage. Uh, you can see there's another two further back there. Uh, one's got tools in it, and the other one's got uh, activities, activity stuff in it like um, rings etc so that's the side of storage then we've got the ski racks uh, ski ski rack so i would honestly personally say that i think that this garage has everything you could ever need obviously i'm a little bit biased um, but it's got everything you could want from ski racks to mountain bikes to electricity to water to everything storage wise so yeah these are the skis um, the rack's about 2 metres long, it runs on solid runners uh, that are 1.2 metres long. The ski rack and everything is custom built uh, to, perfectly fit the, to perfectly fit the skis. We've got these rubber bungees on top to keep the skis in place. Uh, also obviously the poles, use those for walking in the summer as well. Uh, the ski rack, we've cut holes, cut holes in it to um, save, on, save on weight for the van as well so that's all cut into there so all the way down you can see that there's holes in there also means that we get a nice bit of um, air and ventilation going to them in the winter because it does get a little bit cold in the garage sometimes that and then moving on to the middle part so this is a very exciting part of the part of the garage up high we've got um the shoe storage so winter uh, well hiking hiking shoes and just general shoes we've also got some hooks that hold um ski boots and a bit further back you probably can't see it don't worry too much if you can't there we go uh, uh, we've got the abs backpacks for skiing etc you can see those in there so, yeah that's in there and then obviously the bike rack slide out so we can get to the bike rack bring it to the bike um yeah, just a mountain bike, we use it more for getting into town, it's actually for parking a little bit outside than we do for mountains, but yeah, it's really handy. We've got these um, bike rack holders, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, got them on Amazon, 
pretty cheap, not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, that was that was really handy. And then we've got football, my prized possession, um, along with some other bits, strengthens food, uh, pull-up bars for the side of the van. The wheel has to come off the wheel has to come off the bike, obviously, to get it in place. So that just goes in there as well. And um, yeah, so that's there. While we've got this out, let me take you in and I'm going to show you the electrics in here. Now, it's quite difficult to get to because everything is in the way. But just back there, you can see the electrics. We've got the fuse, 12 volt fuse box there. We've got the isolators, inverters, solar, solar MPPT charger, and the 12 volt DC to DC charger. Now, it's not the easiest accessible place, uh, but it's not the end of the world either. Uh, if I need to get in there to do some work, I can. Um, and then up there, you see we've got a blower from the heater, which means that in the winter we actually do get some heat coming into the garage. It doesn't warm it up, but it does definitely take the chill off it. Uh, and then underneath that, we've got the water tank, which is a 150 litre baffled water tank. And that's where we store all our water. 150 litres can get us in the summer, can do us a week and a half. In the winter, it can do us probably about five days or so, I'd say. Yeah, so that's that. Then, moving on to this side of the garage, we've got our hose pipe, which is 10 metre hose pipe. And we've also on the hose pipe got a little isolation valve here. So what that means is that when we're filling up, we can use this end to fill up, put it in there, and then if for any reason, because obviously the sometimes the, the water is quite difficult to get, so I might have to be walking around the wall or something like that. It might take a few minutes to get to the water. If for any reason I need to stop the water from going into the tank, if it's overflowing or anything like that, I can use this isolation just here and the rotary isolator can just isolate it like this. Um, really, really simple thing. It's actually something I saw on someone else's video um, and I definitely would recommend anything like that. So it's got a meter on the end there. It goes into the water and yeah, it's, uh, it's worked absolutely perfectly so far. With that, so we'll just pop it back in. With the garage, I realised that we, we had a lot of space up high, but not much space on the floor. So that's why all the way through, we've got these um, cargo nets, bungee straps for shoes, hooks for bags and ski boots, etc. And yeah, I just it just means that we have a lot more space to be able to store things in there and it works really really well. Um, right, now to sit down. Show you the next bit. We've got um, hanging space just here. So this holds our coats, um, a little hanger there, coats etc etc. Et and then a little bit further back, I don't know if you can see it, We've got some more IKEA IKEA bags just there. Two IKEA bags that hold our off-season stuff. So right now they're full of skiing jackets and socks, etc., etc. Uh, it just holds all our off-season, all our off-season equipment, and it's a really handy space that's quite difficult to get to, but in theory we only need to be there a couple of times a year, so it's not a problem. Uh, right then, on this side up high, we've got the water. Um, I bought a lockable water system thinking I was going to put it on the outside of the van. Ended up putting it on the inside of the van, but still use it anyway. Um, just in case anyone breaks into the van, we need to find the very difficultly placed key to open up our water system if we want to cause any trouble. Uh, and then here, I've got a light switch that controls the 12 volt lighting. You won't see this because it's the middle of day, um, but we've got 
12 volt LED strip running across underneath here and back under the other way as well. Um, then here we've got a little 6 litre water tank, well, a water bottle, sorry, it's not a tank, that's used just for keeping some spare drinking water in the, in the back. And it's really handy, we don't often need to use it, but it does make life a little bit easier. Sometimes having them a little bit higher up, we've got this almost like headboard that we've got here for the back of the van. And what that does is it stops these pillows from sliding off. This was something that was added at a little bit of a later date and we realised that there was a bit of a gap, probably about 10 centimetres maybe, and it was enough for the uh, pillows, for the pillows to come and slide underneath. So it was a bit of a, it was a, bit of a problem. Um, so we added these in, but uh, the timber I curved it slightly so that it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, but yeah, it works, works really well. And you can see also around here, we've got Velcros all the way around. And this is for the mosquito net. And that was just a very simple purchase. It was a mosquito net from Lidl. And we got that, sewed it together a little bit, made it, made it suit our needs, attached the Velcro onto it. And now we've got a mosquito net that we can put on the back of here, which is brilliant during the summer. It's really been a lifesaver. And getting toward the end now, we've got this cargo net on bungees, we attached onto this door here. The idea in the first place was that we'd have a few more of these cargo nets on, but we realised that we didn't have any more space that we could use it in the van. So this was the only place where it was suitable for us to be able to put it on. Uh, this holds helmet, hammock, sleeping bag, beach towels, anything like that. So just another handy little storage area. Um, and then finally, we've got this hose here, which is our outdoor hose. And yeah, it's super long. It's about, I think it's a 15 metre hose. Uh, you can even get it all the way around the van to wash the van. Um, so yeah, you can wash the van with it. You can shower with it and wash off all the equipment, so the mountain bikes, the skis, anything like that, we can wash off with it. And I'm just going to show you our shower attachment for it. So this was just a little piece of timber that I had spare. Um, put a hole down into it so that the shower would slide in. And the shower slides in like this. And we can use this for an outside shower. And on days like this, when it's 30 degrees, it works pretty well. So there's a little lock on the back of the shower here. So just pop that down like that, and now it's showering, and we can have a nice shower outside. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So if you like anything that you've seen here today, then I would really appreciate it if you could drop me a subscribe. Uh, it really does make a difference, as I said before. Thank you very much for watching. If there's anything that you'd like to see or like to know, then drop it into the comments. I'll happily answer any questions. And yeah, thank you very much. I hope you have a good day. And I hope it's helped inspire you into something that you might put into your garage. And if it does, then let me know. I'd love to, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you very much.